Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com. In this video, I'm going to show you eight home business ideas that you can start for free in 2018. So if you want to get off to a better start, maybe quit your job. If you want to work from home and have your own business where you don't have any kind of boss, I'm going to show you eight great options that you can choose from that are working really well today. The first one is freelance writing. There's a lot of freelance writing work out there. You know, technology is coming along really well and it's taking away a lot of jobs as far as automation. But writing is something that, you know, technology has not gotten up to speed with yet. They do not have robots writing articles and stuff much yet. The most they can do is like sports scores, stock updates, and things like that. So they need creative writers, is what I'm trying to say. One place where you can show off your writing is on. LinkedIn. If you want to save money, you don't want to spend any money creating your own blog, um, you can click write an article. You have a free LinkedIn profile and you can write blog posts just like you normally would. So you can use this, rank blog posts, you know, sell affiliate products, sell, you know, links to your own, um, you know, eBay store or however you're making money and do it on LinkedIn. But if you want to just write as a freelancer, you're going to want to find jobs. You're going to want to find people hiring uh, to pay you by the blog post or pay you a certain amount per word or to just give you like contract work and stuff like that. So one place I would recommend if you want to get freelance writing jobs where you can completely work from home is um, Pro Blogger dot com slash jobs so pro blogger is a blogging website it's about how to create a blog how to build it how to market it and stuff like that and there is a job board section where you can find all kinds of freelance writing available so you have you know um, freelance writing united states freelance anywhere remote contract remote freelance there's a lot of jobs available where you can work anywhere that are freelance. So you're you're writing for sports. Some of them you write for, you know, um, news. Some of them you're writing for, you know, reviews. You're doing all kinds of stuff, and you have all kinds of pretty well-paying jobs. Another way that you can uh, look this stuff up, you know, I'm trying to. I got seven more ways to show you. So to kind of sum up and put the best websites that pay you the most per article I recommend you look up this playlist on my channel it is called um, make money guest writing right here it has four videos in it if you click on it it will um, have a a bunch of videos that you can watch one of them is um, 20 websites that pay you 50 plus dollars to write a blog post or article. Another one is 20 websites that or 15 websites that pay you $200 plus per article, 16 websites that pay $100 plus per article, and 11 websites that pay you between 50 and 700 per article. So, if you watch those videos, you'll find all kinds of sites that pay you very well per post, and you can use that to um decide where you can do some freelance writing work but if you need a place to actually like showcase your writing if you haven't written a book and you don't have your own blog you need to write some good stuff on maybe linkedin or some other type of free blog to have something that you can show for and then you can hopefully get your first few guest writing gigs and then you can use those as your examples when you're pitching articles in the future Another thing you can do is become an ebook publisher. Now, you do not have to be a New York Times bestseller to sell a lot of books and make a lot of money as a business. So, there are people out there that actually help you learn how to make money by selling a lot of books in volume and just make, you know, maybe $100 a month from each book or something like that but you crank out a book a week or a few books a week. Some of them I've seen put like a book a day because they have ghost writers who write the book for them, but they do all the marketing and the research. So 
few tips for this. If you want to sell ebooks, you can do it for free. You can use something like Google Docs or something like that to write the book, save it. Um, you can publish it at kdp.amazon.com. As a side note, I'll have links to all these links for you. I'll have a links to all these pages for you in the show notes page, so you don't have to worry about memorizing all this right now. But um, this is where you would go to sell ebooks on Amazon. It's completely free to publish, and you earn 70% royalties. If your book does very well, go to the bottom here where it says um, create space down here that little link in the bottom and that is where you can have the book actually created in a physical format so if it gets very successful you can have like a paperback version created and then sell that um, on Amazon or something but that's where you go to sell ebooks on Amazon you can also try Barnes and Noble's website and some others as well if you want to make the most money from your books I recommend putting it in EPUB format so you can do like uh, save it in PDF and then go to this page um, online-convert.com go to the one that says convert to EPUB and then you can upload your Word document or choose it from your Google Drive which is free um, if you have a Gmail account and there you go you you are able to have clickable links in your ebook that you are selling on places like Amazon so if you want clickable links, you want to be able to um, maybe in the future grow your business even more by collecting emails, getting subscribers, getting um, links in there to your other books that are related, then I would recommend you use EPUB format. Okay. So once you have your book, you have an EPUB format. I would also recommend a course. I know this is a course that you um, actually have to pay a little bit of money for. But I did it, and it really helps you um, helps you uh, create a great strategy for selling books. And this guy, um, name is Stefan. He teaches you how to go from no book to a published book being sold and marketed on Amazon from scratch, and how to do it in mass quantity. So it's called K Money Mastery 2.0. You can get it here. It's definitely worth the money if you want to scale up your book operation in the future. Um, and I learned a lot, took a lot of notes, pages and pages of notes just from this course. So that is at selfmadesuccess.com slash k-money-mastery. I'll have a link to it in the show notes. But that's a great uh, course if you just want to grow that in the future. Next is affiliate marketing, and this is still something that works very well today. Still a major stream of income for a lot of bloggers, a lot of YouTubers, and people like that, uh, podcasters. Um, so affiliate marketing is, if you don't already know, a way of making money where you get paid a commission, where you promote someone else's product, and they pay you the commission for helping them get the sale. One place I would recommend you start out with if you're going to do affiliate marketing that has probably the most products to choose from is Amazon Associates. Now they have some very expensive products on there that you can sell. They have some up to you know tens of thousands of dollars for a watch or something. And you can sell stuff, you get up to a 10% commission and you know do the math on the stuff you're promoting. But if you want to do this on like a, a blog format, you can use LinkedIn where I showed you, you know, how to create a new post. You don't have to pay for a blog yet. If you want to do the completely free version of affiliate marketing, you can promote it on a YouTube channel. You can promote it on social media, Twitter, Facebook, etc. Um, and if you want to get an idea of some affiliate programs besides the major ones like clickbank and amazon associates you could look at some of the top um, bloggers who do affiliate marketing and make tens of thousands of dollars a month from it so if like if you looked at smart passive income he literally discloses all the stuff that he makes money from and um, he's completely transparent about it so uh, if you go to smartpassiveincome.com and look up here in the top right corner, click See Income Reports, go to the latest one. I think this one is November, and it tells you his affiliate earnings. He uses AWeber, 
Bluehost, ConvertKit. You know, now you might not have the same brand as him. You might be better at selling electronics or entertainment stuff or music or books or something like that. But he sells a lot of like business services and gets a lot of affiliate income from that. So you could get ideas from different affiliate bloggers. This is just one example. I recommend you look at more, but um, they have all kinds of products that they show on here, either um, on their um, income reports or on their resources page. He has a resources page as well um, where they have all kinds of affiliate programs. Another thing you can do is use Pinterest to promote affiliate uh, marketing products. And for instance, if you were to go to like, you know, your profile, let's say you just pinned a picture of a product. Um, all you would have to do is go to Amazon, wherever you have that affiliate link, copy the affiliate link, and then go to one of your latest pins. Let's say I went to this one. All you'd have to do is change the website to your affiliate link right here and click save. Okay. And you want it to be like a picture of uh, an affiliate product. Um, let me see if I can show you an example. Like here's one here. Um, it's a picture of a table that converts from air hockey to ping pong to pool. And you can show like a picture of it, what it is. Like I have, have it in the title up there. And um, you can see I also have the price. And it's a vertical image. It's not a real horizontal image. So it's um, better for Pinterest when it's more vertical. So do that and then you can change the link to your affiliate link by clicking the pencil and doing what I just showed you. So that's another thing you can do is use Pinterest, which is really good for affiliate marketing. All right, another thing you can do is become a YouTuber. Obviously I'm a YouTuber as one of my businesses and it is a very good way to go because you can create content, you can be entertaining, you can be more informative like I am, you can uh, make people laugh like PewDiePie, you can do a lot of different things and make money from it through ads on your YouTube channel. Um, it's free to set up. If you wanna start a new channel, just make sure that you have a Gmail account with Google. Make sure you're signed in on your browser, like in Google Chrome and then go to YouTube, go and click that button right there that shows like a, it'll probably be a blank image if you don't have an image uploaded there. And then go to um, see all my channels or create a new channel. Click that link in the uh, account settings after you've gone to the account settings and then uh, you can create a new YouTube channel and it'll walk you through how to do it. Couple of examples of things you could do. Now, one tip I want to give you, I don't wanna go through the whole entire YouTube marketing um, course right now because of the sake of time, but what you wanna do is find something that you like doing, that you actually find yourself reading about on the internet and stuff on a daily basis, even when you're not making money from it. That's something you're probably passionate about and interested in. Find something like that and find whether or not you can make a lot of videos in the future for that. You need to be able to make thousands of videos over the course of years. So a um, couple examples, if you, want, if you like playing video games, you can create a gaming channel. This guy doesn't even show his face. His, his channel is called The Rad Brad, but he has over 8 million subscribers and he plays all kinds of video games and uh, shows you walkthroughs of how to do different parts of these different games and stuff like that. Um, so that's one example. You can play all kinds of games. You'll never run out of content because there will always be new video games coming out. If you are into gaming, you're gonna be buying video games anyway. You might as well do walkthroughs and stuff of the games that you're playing. Okay, so you just record your screen, Microsoft, PlayStation, all of those, they have a lot of tools for that now. And another thing you can do, for example, is uh, reviews, like tech reviews. So if you are always buying the latest gadgets and stuff like that, you can make a video channel and actually make money from it, like Marquise Brownlee does. He has over 5.6 million subscribers. If you look at his videos, it's like iPhone reviews, it's um, 
smartphone awards, the best smartphones, the get the best, um, you know, virtual, not virtual assistant, but you know, the home assistant type stuff like uh, Google Home or the Amazon Alexa and stuff like that. He re- he even reviews uh, Tesla cars sometimes, uh, laptops, tablets, headphones, all kinds of stuff like that. There's never going to be a lack of technology being created. Always new technology coming out. So he always has stuff to review and talk about. And he gets a couple million views per video. So you know he gets a ton of money and a ton of traffic. Another thing you can do is become an app promoter. Now there are a lot of free apps that you can get that you can promote. And if you recruit people to the app, they will pay you. Um, You can also make money from apps without recruiting people to try them. Like you can watch videos on certain apps like a Viggle. You can watch videos or app trailers is another one. You can watch videos and make money from them um, because ads are on the videos. Or they have some where you can uh, try and download different apps uh, like feature points. You can download free apps, try them out, delete them, and they pay you money for it. Um, But you also want to find some that have a good referral program like feature points has Both iPhone and Android versions if you want to get the iPhone version you have to download it um, from the website featurepoints.com And That do that in the Safari browser on your iPhone. Otherwise you can get it straight from Google Play um, for Android, but they have a 50% um, for life type thing where when you recruit like one of your friends to try the app you get like 50 percent of however much money they make for a long time so um, those types of things really add up if you can get a lot of people um, to try the app and you can make money yourself if you don't want to try and get people to try it so you can just go down the list if you're looking at the app this is what it looks like it tells you your total points in the top right how many people you've recruited in the top left, how much points you get for trying the app yourself, and how many points um, you get for when your friends try it. And it has a list of popular apps that you've probably heard of. Nothing shady. Always, you know, popular apps that have, you know, big budgets and stuff. Usually very highly rated. You try these apps for a couple minutes, and then you can delete them from your phone. You get money. You can deposit in your bank account straight from PayPal. They can pay you via PayPal, Amazon gift cards, um, points towards um, apps in the Google Play Store, all kinds of stuff. So Feature Points has a really good referral program and a great way to make money by trying free apps as well as watching videos and taking surveys. Another one would be like Ibotta, which is basically paying you money to go grocery shopping and shop for apparel and stuff like that. So they give you money back for scanning receipts from grocery shopping, whether it's Kroger or Walmart or even, you know, shopping at other places like Best Buy or something. You could scan your receipts and then they'll give you money back for stuff like that. You can get it via PayPal and it's for both iPhone and Android devices. So that's another one. They have a great referral program as well. It's like 5 or $10 per person that you recruit. And then you can make blog posts, for instance, to do like top 10 apps that do this or a review of a specific app or something like that to get people to go to your link and try the app and make you some extra money from it. You'll show people a cool app that they would not have probably known about otherwise, and then you make money. So everybody wins. Nobody has to pay for anything. All you do is get yourself paid and get the person paid that tries the app. So, for instance, you could go to Frugal for Less. They have all kinds of uh, articles like this where they have, you know, money-making apps, turn cash from your phone, stuff like that. And you can also make your own blog post on LinkedIn by creating a new post here, uh, clicking, you know, write an article button, then you end up on this page. And then you can include your links to your apps, um, referral links and affiliate links and all kinds of stuff and make money that way. 
Another thing you can do is sell custom apparel. So you can design your own apparel, sell it online for free, and what the uh, website does is they just take a small cut of what you make. So teespring.com is one example of a place that does this. You need to be very careful about copyright, of course. You don't want to use any kind of art or um, slogans or names of any main like companies that could sue you or get your stuff taken down. But if you use something like Teespring, you can go and click Start Designing. And what it does is it allows you to design t-shirts and all kinds of other stuff. And then you can, um, obviously you need to log in to do it, but once you design these shirts and stuff, you can sell them by getting people to go to the link. And you can use YouTube, a podcast, LinkedIn articles, social media, etc., to get traffic to these links where you sell these unique t-shirts and other types of apparel. You can do sweaters, you can do coffee mugs, you can do socks, you can do different types of apparel, you can do phone cases and all kinds of stuff and uh, sell them through Teespring. And instead of you having to get a manufacturer, get a big order and then sell them out of your garage and do with shipping and all that, they do all that for you. So when somebody buys a shirt, it's made and shipped and customer support and all that stuff is taken care of by Teespring in exchange for a small commission. So it's much easier. You can design your own clothes and stuff um, and sell them through Teespring. Okay, all you got to do is uh, design them and make sure they're unique. So one example of a really good uh, store on Teespring is these engineers. They made these shirts for all kinds of engineers, people who are proud of being engineers. And um, what they do is they have all kinds of, you know, symbols, all kinds of custom art and sayings and stuff like that. Um, like, trust me, I'm an engineer, $20 shirt, or, um, you know, I'm an engineer, engineering shirt, $22, stuff like that. So you can literally create all kinds of stuff come up with your own sayings, come up with your own logos and sell them like that. You want to go for kind of a niche group of people so that you can um, really appeal to a lot of people um, that are looking for something that's not really out there, like engineer shirts. Um, they would also make good like gift ideas and stuff. Cafe Press is another one. If you don't want to use Teespring, you can also create um, stuff there. Just click design your own, that button right there, and then start designing your own um, apparel pillows and stuff like that okay next is becoming a virtual assistant you can make pretty good money doing this by just doing what people tell you to do but you're still an entrepreneur because you're not necessarily an employee you can do this by contracts you can do this freelance you can do this by the specific task all kinds of ways to do this if you want to find freelance virtual assistant jobs on a job board, you can go to virtualassistants.com. They have all kinds of virtual assistant jobs here. That's literally what the job, what the site is dedicated to. Another place is Upwork. Just search when you go to find freelancers, search virtual assistant. You can see what you're up against as far as your competition for work. All kinds of jobs are posted here all the time. It's one of the biggest freelance sites in the world. And, you, you know, when people post a job, you can uh, show that you're qualified, apply to get the job, um, and it kind of keeps track of how well you do, how much you make per hour, how much money you've earned, how many jobs you've done, where you're located, success rate, what you specialize in, and stuff like that. So you would just create a profile by clicking up here, become a freelancer. And another one is guru.com. This is another freelancing website like Upwork where you would uh, look and see what kind of virtual assistants are out there. And, of course, you can apply for different jobs and do it that way to uh, do data entry, research, you know, scheduling appointments, um, replying emails, stuff like that is typically what a virtual assistant does. Last but not least is a renter. This is something I've 
not mentioned much in um, business ideas before, but it is something that's kind of possible now, thanks to a lot of new companies. So one thing you can do is take the stuff you already have and rent it out to people when you're not using it. So it's a lot more efficient way of living and you can turn it into your full-time income. One place you can go is Turo.com. Turo it allows you to rent out your car when it's not being used. If you have multiple cars, if you have a car and you don't drive every day, maybe you work from home full time, you don't have to drive um, you know, all the time. So you can allow people to rent out your car. And you see all kinds of listings of all kinds of different vehicles on here. Um, and another thing you can do is rent out extra space in your home. You can rent out, uh, if you have like a cabin, if you have a beach house or a lake house or a pool house or a guest house or maybe just an extra bedroom in your house that's not being used much. Um, instead of having a regular, you know, guest bedroom where nobody ever comes over and actually sleeps in that bed, you could actually rent it out when you're not having a friend or family member spend the night. You can have you can do that using airbnb.com and you can do other things as well. You can take people on tours of the city and do all kinds of stuff. But um, one thing is really cool. You can use Airbnb or even something like Craigslist or something to rent out a room in your house. And last but not least is Spinlister. So Spinlister is a website that is kind of going along the same lines of Airbnb and Turo. It's kind of that sharing economy thing that you know you see a lot with like millennials and stuff now. Um, and what it does is it allows you to rent out your surfboards, your skis, your snowboards, your bikes, and stuff like that. Um, and you just list your rides. People can use them, and then they return them. You have dates set up. You have insurance for all this stuff. That also applies to Airbnb and Turo as well. You have all kinds of insurance to help in case something happens. And then, of course, you list out your stuff. So if you're somebody who has a snowboard or a skis or a surfboard or a bike that's not being used all the time, you can list them and rent them out using spinlister.com. So that's it for this video. If you feel like it was helpful, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. Also, if you want to let me know what you thought about the video, you want to let me know about something you want me to cover in the future, um, give me a comment in the comment section below, whether you're on the website or the YouTube video. I'd love to hear from you. And also, I'll get the links to all of these pages, resources, related content, all that stuff on the show notes page at selfmadesuccess.com. I'll have a link in the video description to that page as well. So other than that, I hope you um, thought the video was helpful, and I hope you have a great day.